Hi, I'm Dirk, and we're in the John P. McGovern Hall of the Americas at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I'm going to talk to you about cacao beans. We're all familiar with an expression, hey, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. We know the Aztec would say, actually, it does. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about. In the Aztec realm, or Aztec empire, they used cacao beans to buy things, to go to the market, to buy their daily food, to buy their uh, ceramics, you name it. And they did so by um, bringing in as tribute cacao beans from further south, from Mexico and Guatemala. And then once it got to the capital, Tenochtitlan, which is what we're looking at here, people would go to the market, which is located right here, and they would proceed to buy uh, things like turkeys, turkey eggs, maybe some tamales, whatever it was. And we happen to know that because the Spanish, when they showed up in 1520, made a note as they walked through the uh, market and noticed the price. And so a turkey egg was five cacao beans. And so we had the prices of the day for that year. Now people are people. And sometimes people made counterfeit cacao beans because they peel back the little skin around the bean, fill it with mud, and now you have two cacao beans, and all of a sudden you can buy a lot more. But in this market right here, there were judges walking around. And by the way, this is 24 seven, seven days a week supermarket. And so if you, the vendor, thought that the guy in front of you was selling you or was buying stuff with fake cacao beans, you called in the judges and they would take care of business. Other than that, I'm pretty sure everybody down there got a very sweet deal.